Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about lightweight bolt carrier groups. So the reason I kind of really wanted to do this video is because we see a lot of misconceptions or misuses of lightweight bolt carrier groups. And before I get into all that, I wanna really talk about the main benefits of a lightweight bolt carrier group or what a lightweight bolt carrier group is to start off with. So compared to a standard AR-15 bolt carrier group, a lightweight bolt carrier group has all the material it can cut out of it and still retain the essential material for proper function of said bolt carrier group. So with all that extra mass cut out of it, it is obviously lighter and will have a higher bolt velocity, which means it's gonna be moving a lot faster when the firearm is cycling um, with a standard setup. So with the reason for that being is that you can actually get accomplish two things. So you can have a softer recoil impulse firearm, so an easier recoiling AR-15, um, and uh, you can have one that's just overall lighter weight, and you can have both of those things in the same package, which is really nice. And in order to achieve both of those things, uh, there's a number of other components that have to you know be at play with this. So for example, you know, if you're using other lightweight components as well, like low, uh, lightweight receivers, um, a lightweight barrel, a good muzzle brake, you can get a really light AR-15 that's really easy on the recoil. And it's just kind of pleasant and you know, cool to shoot overall. And there's plenty of them out there. You can even build your own using these components. Or you can just lighten up your AR-15 and lighten up the recoil impulse a little bit uh, just by using a lightweight bolt carrier group. So if, uh, if you decide that's the path you wanna take on your AR-15 build, then these tips right here will certainly help you out. So I wanna start kind of by going into what we see people doing wrong. And that is using a heavier buffer whenever they're using a lightweight bolt carrier group. So your standard buffer weighs three ounces, right? So whenever they're using a lightweight bolt carrier group, they tend to go up to an H or H2 or you know whatever, increased weight buffer. And the reason they're doing that is to slow this bolt carrier group down. Because if your bolt carrier group is moving too fast, that will cause malfunctions in your firearm, which is obviously not a good thing. So the negative to that, or negative to increasing your bolt carrier group weight in that uh, regard is, you just completely defeated the purpose of using a lightweight bolt carrier group. Because now you just took all that weight you cut out and you added it right back in to the back via the buffer. So how do we get around that? You can increase the weight tension of the actual spring itself, sure. Um, not really the best way to go about it for a number of reasons. So the best thing to do is to just cut off the source of that additional um, pressure making the bolt come back so fast in the first place. And the best way to do that is an adjustable gas block. So the best thing to do for your lightweight bolt carrier group is to just get an adjustable gas block. So this one right here is made by Rifle Speed. They're super easy to adjust. Obviously you can use your favorite preferred adjustable gas block. Uh, but pairing up the two, tuning one to the other, getting that, uh, that lightweight bolt carrier group just so that it cycles with just the amount of gas needed so that your bolt velocity is what it needs to be and not anything more, not anything less. You'll get the right amount of bolt velocity, that right amount of recoil impulse for your lightweight AR-15, and you'll be good to go. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.